Hi, everybody. Welcome to my channel. This is Sheila Keeter. I am your teacher for inclusion. I have a Teachers Pay Teachers shop, successful one, um, on Teachers Pay Teachers. So if you are interested in videos about all things Teachers Pay Teachers, please do not forget to hit subscribe. So today I want to talk about something important, an experiment that I tried um, for PowerPoint versus Google Slides. I wanted to see for myself which one would sell better. Now, before we start, I'd like to say that I am a PowerPoint girl. Um, I prefer PowerPoint. I'm comfortable with PowerPoint. I like how things move very easily, fluidly on PowerPoint. I like how I'm able to use my own font, which by the way, you're, you're not able to use on Google Slides. And I just prefer PowerPoint. However, when I, what I did for my experiment is I took 20 resources and I uploaded 20 resources as a PowerPoint and I took those same 20 resources and uploaded them as Google Slides. And when I went to the statistics section, I saw that the Google Slides were getting two to three times as many views as well as sales compared to PowerPoint. And I've done most of my resources in PowerPoint and I still have a successful business, but that shows me it could be far more successful, two to three times more successful if I translate my resources from PowerPoint into Google Slides. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today, how to very easily transfer PowerPoint to Google Slides. So let's go ahead and get started. My share screen is acting up a little bit here. Okay, so what you do is you'll notice here, you go to your Google Slides section and in the top left-hand corner, you'll see um, where it says new and there's a plus sign. So you'll hit new and plus, then you'll go to that top left-hand corner where it says file upload and you'll click on file upload. This will take you to your computer where you're able to upload your resource. So the one that I'm gonna upload that I haven't done yet is called the night diary. I can't find it fairly quickly, we'll do a, another one. Let's just do the Mask of the Red Death. Okay, so I'll click on that. And once you click on it, give it a minute to upload. So what I think regarding um, having, if you have a lot of PowerPoints versus Google Slides is that you don't necessarily have to delete the ones that are in PowerPoint. I think that you can create doubles. Just be sure to use the same cover for both resources so people don't double up and purchase the same resource twice, if that makes sense. And then that gives you two times as many options or ways for people to find that resource. And what I do is I just add a ribbon across one of the covers that has the Google Slides and I put Google Slides on it. So here's the Mask of the Red Death. And what you'll note, and this is the frustrating part for me, is whenever you have um, links, they move. So here I have the first page, I do a table of contents with links. And so I have to go through each one, and I've had to do this with all my resources, and move the links over, okay? So that's on the first page. What you wanna do is make sure you go through each page and double check that things haven't moved significantly. The other thing that it does, Google Slides does when it translates it is 
it lower cases the title. So you'll note here, it says a common language graphic novel. That should be in cap, those each letter of the, the first letter of each word should be capitalized, okay? So you wanna go through and make sure you do all of that. All right, pictures usually come out fine. Um, things shift a bit, not too bad. I'm not crazy about the fact that you can't use um, your own fonts, but to be honest, people really want regular normal fonts, nothing too fancy. When they're teaching students, they want them to be able to read it. So that's the sacrifice that we make, right? Okay. So you'll note here it it um, it shifted and they're they're moving up against each other. So I'll have to fix that, but I'm not going to do it while you're waiting for me. Okay. So once you have your resource uploaded. Then you're going to go to the top left-hand corner where it says file. And you're going to scroll down to where it says save as Google Slides. So one, two, three, four, five, six down. It says save as Google Slides. Hit save. And voila. You now have a copy of the Mask of the Red Death as a Google slide, okay? It's really simple. Okay, so I would urge you, if you have your resources and your products in PowerPoint, I would urge you that um, creating doubles in Google Slides is beneficial. It will bring you more sales. Um, I don't do videos unless I think something is really important. And like I said, you can, oh, we're not gonna do that right now. We'll do that in another video. It's gonna show you um, what you can do. Like I said, is on your cover page, you can do like a ribbon or something, use the same cover and just label it as Google Slides so that people can see the difference between the two covers, okay? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got something out of it and we'll see you next time. Bye.